All right. Um, so for this problem, what we need to do is we need to solve our rational equation, which means we have two rational terms. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we have denominators, right? We have some fractions. We don't want fractions. Let's get rid of the fractions. So what we need to do is we need to multiply every single term by our LCM. So the first thing I want to do is just determine what is going to be my LCM, my least common multiple, for my denominator. Or you could call it your LCD, your least common denominator. So we look at right now, and you could rewrite this as a fraction if you like. So we look at it, we have three denominators of x, x plus 2, and 1. So the least common denominator or multiple is going to be x times x plus 2. And the reason why it's going to be x times x plus 2 is, again, you know, you always want to try to see if you could factor them. But these we can't factor any further. So that's just going to leave it as is. So now what we're going to want to do is multiply every single term by x times x plus 2. OK, so now what's helpful when multiplying by our LCM is what we'll notice, Noah, is that here my x's divide to 1. So I'm just left with 15 times x plus 2. Um, over here, my x plus 2's divide to 1. So I'm just left with 9x minus 7 times x. And then over here, nothing divides to 1. So I'm just left with 9 times x times x plus 2. So now I need to apply the distributive property. So here I get 15x plus 30 plus 9x squared minus 7x equals 9x squared um, plus 18x. Okay, And automatically, ladies and gentlemen, what I see is I have a quadratic, right? So it's not like a linear equation. Linear equations, you get the variable all by itself and then solve, right? You isolate the variable. On a quadratic, we want to get all the terms set to one side and then set them equal to 0. Then we can either apply factoring, quadratic formula, or completing the square. So what I need to do is I need to get everything over to the same side. So what I'll do is I will uh, subtract a 9x squared, and I'll subtract an 18x. So I subtract 9x squared, and I subtract a, um, let's just do it from here, 18x. So it doesn't matter where I'm subtracting this. 15x minus um, 18x is a negative 3x plus 30. This subtracts to 0 minus 7x equals 0. Now, what's the cool thing about this is guess what? My quadratic terms were eliminated, right? So now, instead of actually having a quadratic that I have to solve, now I actually have a linear equation. So now I combine my like terms, which is a negative 10x plus 30 equals 0. So unlike a quadratic where I'd have to factor and solve, now I can just isolate my variable. So I subtract 30 on both sides. And I get negative 10x equals a negative 30. Divide by negative 10. And I get x equals a positive 3. Yes, Ryan? Is that No? Yes? That was right? OK, good. Yes? Each way, you're going to want to multiply by the LCM. And the reason why, because I have talking over. So that you want to multiply by LCM. The reason why is because you notice when I multiply by the LCM, my denominators are eliminated. And that's our whole purpose of it. But can you do another way? There's other ways to solve the problem, yes. But not by, multiply, not by getting, to get rid of the denominators, you have to multiply by the LCM. Could you just make all the denominators the same? Yes. That is another way you could do it. You could. Combine these. How do you combine these? You have to still have to get the same denominator. So you'd have to multiply this by x plus 1 times x plus 1, this times x over x. Then you could combine them, and then you'd have a rational fraction is equal to another rational fraction, and you could cross multiply. <laughs> Guys, can you um, not talk?